Hello everyone, today I wanted to respond to a question that was asked by one of my subscribers and that is how do you actually reset a password within Thunderbird? And that's a good question because if you look at the Thunderbird interface, it's really not obvious how you uh, change your password. The reason for that is that Thunderbird is actually just a client. It doesn't um, actually hold the database where your passwords and your usernames are stored at. Those are located elsewhere. Thunderbird just connects to those servers in order to retrieve your email and bring them back to your computer. So if you have an email address already stored in Thunderbird, it's going to be at some kind of a domain name, like at zoho.com, it could be at hotmail.com, gmail.com, yahoo.com. And usually uh, those domains are where you also would log into your email if you were using the web. Likewise, that's also where the forgot your password buttons are gonna be stored. And those forgot your password buttons or uh, links that's what you need to click on. So if we go to the web browser and then look for the domain where uh, our email is located, which in this case is at Zoho. So we go to Zoho.com, but it could also be Yahoo.com. Look for the email login. In this case, it was just right up here on sign in. Uh, you get prompted to enter an email address and password, but, we, but we've forgotten the password. We don't know what it is. So we go ahead and click forgot password and it'll usually uh, ask you a couple questions. It might ask for a security question. It might ask you to just re-enter your email address. So uh, learning Thunderbird at Zoho.com is the one we're using for this tutorial. And it's also asking us for a capture to make sure we're not a robot spamming their servers. So we go ahead and request that. And in this case, it's going to send that, uh, it's gonna send the password reset to another one of my email addresses, but how it actually works varies depending on which email service you're using. Some might allow you to reset it right then and there in the browser after entering uh, your secret question answers. Others may do this where it just sends an email to another one of your alternate email addresses. So what I would do from here is go check this email. Uh, look for the forgot your password, uh, password reset email. Go in there, click the link that will allow you to reset your password. It will bring you back to the website where it'll say enter a new password and confirm it. And once you go ahead and do that, you can actually just go back to Thunderbird uh, because your password's been reset. But now you have to tell Thunderbird that your password's changed. And how you can do that is by going up here to the menu, look for options, go to options within that. And you're gonna wanna go over to the security tab, passwords, saved passwords and here, uh, all of your passwords that you've saved in Thunderbird are going to be stored. So what you want to do is remove the IMAP uh, password storage and the S uh, SMTP password storage. And once you do that, the next time uh, you try to check your email and it needs to authenticate, it'll ask you for what your passwords are. Right here, I, I don't believe it needs to because it's already authenticated. But if I was to possibly go back into the Thunderbird client, it may do that then. Yeah, and there we go. So now it's asking for the password, so we just need to get a new password. Uh, Thunderbird, okay. And, well, I'm using LastPass, so I can just copy it. But um, you would enter whatever password you had, be, uh, the new password that you just reset to, you would enter that right in here. Uh, if you want, you can use the password manager to remember the password so you don't have to keep re-entering it. And you'd hit OK, and then we'll go ahead and check your emails. The other thing you could do is to right-click your email address, go to Settings, uh, select the account, Account Options, Remove Account. That would remove it from Thunderbird, and you'd have to re-add it in uh, using the same settings you had before. Um, and from there, you would enter the new password as you enter in all the other settings it would go ahead and immediately check your email and same thing there. So either reset it in the options or remove the account and re-add it is basically what you need to do. But yep, just remember, go back to your main uh, email domain, reset your password there, and then you can let Thunderbird know that it's been reset. Uh, aside from that, if you have any questions or if you run into any trouble, just let me know in the comments down below or shoot me a message. And thank you all very much for watching. Till next time.